This time we're asked to find the equation of the axis of symmetry and then to graph the function. I'm looking and this is in standard form and the equation for the axis of symmetry is defined by the vertical line at x equals negative b over 2a. a equals negative 3 and here b equals 6. So I go ahead and substitute in those values. x equals negative 6 over 2 times negative 3. That's going to give you negative 6 over negative 6. This equals 1. So the vertical line at x equals 1 is going to be the axis of symmetry. Now I need to graph this. So a good start would be finding the other point for the vertex. And that is going to be so for my vertex, this is the same formula for the vertex, x equals 1, and y equals f of 1, which equals negative 3 times 1 squared plus 6 times 1 plus 3. So this is going to be negative 3 times 1, which is negative 3, plus 6 plus 3. My 3's cancel out, so the value of the, the vertex is going to be found at 1, 6. Okay. So that's up here. And I do know that since A is negative 3, it's a negative number, this is a maximum. The vertex is a maximum. And this parabola is going to face downward. It's going to open downward. I need to find some other values for x and y in order to complete my graph. And when x is negative 2, y turns out to be a pretty big value of negative 21 that's going to be way up there. And then when x is negative 1, y is negative 6. And what this shows is that when x changes one increment, y changes a lot, which is going to give me more of a narrow graph, and that fits with the fact that um, the absolute value of a is 3, so that's going to be a narrower graph than, say, if, if a was 1. Okay. When x is 0, that's 0, that's going to be 0, that's going to give me 3. I already have the vertex, so my value when x is 1, I know that y is 6. And when x is 2, y is 3. So you could solve that out and you will find this result. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one off because that's too far up, but I can do when x is negative 1, y is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. It's going to be right about here. Let's have a point right there. When x is 0, y is 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. And you can see this is a pr pretty steeply curving. When x is 1, I already did that, y is 6, that's my vertex. And when x is 2, y is 3. So as I said, we're getting a narrow curve because of that relatively large value for a, absolute value of a. And if I wanted to, I could reflect another value across right about there using my axis of symmetry to help me find this graph. Okay, so this time I found the axis of symmetry as, as um, instructed, and then I graphed the function by finding the vertex, and then finding a few other points, and then reflecting across the axis of symmetry. So today on educator.com we discussed our first lesson on quadratic functions, and then discussed how to graph those functions.